Hello there, fellow health enthusiasts. Today's episode will explore eight solutions that doctors often overlook. Traditional medicine has limitations, often focusing on treating symptoms rather than addressing the underlying problem. This can lead to chronic diseases, which account for a significant portion of healthcare costs. However, alternative tools can be used to address these chronic illnesses. Focusing on these solutions can improve your health and quality of life. This episode will discuss the eight solutions that can help manage chronic diseases. Doctors should address these solutions, but they can significantly impact your well-being. Let's dive in and explore these options together. 1. Food. How you fuel your body has some of the most significant impacts on your health. I can't emphasize this enough. Poor fuel means poor performance, i.e., weight gain, symptoms, diseases, etc. Great fuel equals great performance, i.e., weight loss, energy, symptoms improving or disappearing, significant risk factor reduction for many diseases, etc. As I've written before, the best thing you can do is eat whole, real food 90% plus of the time. This alone would do a plethora of good for most of the population. 2. Sleep. Deficient sleep is a stressor for the body. Just like mental, emotional, or relationship stress, it takes a toll on your body. It moves your body into a more sympathetic state, fight or flight. During sleep, your body also does much of its repairing and regeneration. When you get deficient sleep, you not only increase stress hormones in the body, which doesn't help your metabolism, but you also don't repair and regenerate. Strive for at least 7 hours each night. 8 hours would be better. 3. Toxin Exposure If you get exposed to a toxin like cyanide, it could be lethal. This is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the daily toxin exposure in little increments that add up over time. Smoking would be an obvious one. Regular overconsumption of alcohol would be another obvious one. But what about what you put on your skin and hair? Daily, many people use products chocked with toxins, and they are not even thinking twice about putting it on their skin. Meat and the toxins are absorbed by their bodies. The body then has to deal with and process the toxins or store them in a safer area to conceal them. Often, this is fat tissue. Yikes! I'll give some examples that many do not think about. Deodorant. Don't use antiperspirants. Makeup. Shaving cream. Perfume, cologne. Shampoo. Conditioner. Hair products. Lotions. Toothpaste. Mouthwash. And the list goes on. Begin choosing products that have significantly fewer harmful toxins. There are many available on the market nowadays. Need a guide? Go to the Environmental Working Group's website, where they rate and list the toxins in various products. www.ewg.org Another area most people don't think twice about is warming food in plastic containers. Plastics are made from petrochemicals. When heated in a microwave, the chemical toxins leach into food. Then, you consume the toxins. It's not good over time. Warm up food in glass or ceramic containers instead. Another common possible toxin is what you use to cook with. Teflon-type non-stick cooking pans leach the chemicals into the food that you make. Instead, cook in stainless steel or cast iron skillets, my favorite. A well-seasoned cast iron skillet can be just as non-stick as a Teflon-type pan. Man, that was a lot of hyphens. 4. Relationships. When you have healthy relationships, life is so much more enjoyable. Your body undergoes way less stress. It, therefore, performs and functions better. But it can sometimes be all-encompassing if you have a relationship that is in tension or on the rocks. Whether it is a spouse, a family member, a friend, or a co-worker, the tension, or anger, can take a toll on you. If this is you, depending on the situation, I'd suggest. Get counseling. Get get a mentor. Ask for forgiveness. Approach the person calmly and reconcile. Speak with management. Speak speak with our. Whatever route you take, try to make amends with the other person. If it is a situation where the other person is unreasonable and not willing to work on the relationship, you may need to set boundaries for your own mental health and well-being. There's not always an easy answer, but there practically always is a solution. 5. Water. Keeping your body well hydrated is essential. Ideally, you want to focus on getting sufficient amounts of mineral, filtered, or bottled water. Avoid tap water. Due to chlorine and fluoride often added, see toxins above. Ideally, the majority of your fluid intake should be water. Two-thirds at least. 
The remainder would be unsweetened coffee, tea, and herbal teas. Limit soft drinks, juices, and other sweetened beverages. If you need a sweetener, use stevia, monk fruit extract, allulose, erythritol, or xylitol. I'd suggest the first three if possible. But the latter two are better than artificial sweeteners or refined sugars. As a rule, one half your body weight in ounces, up to 100 ounces, of fluids per day. OR. 500 milliliters per 15 kilograms of weight, up to 3 L of fluids per day. Not only do you want to stay well hydrated for optimal cellular performance, but also for detoxification. Especially if you want to lose weight, as you burn fat, toxins will be released. See the above toxin section. By keeping well hydrated, you put less stress on your body during the detoxification process. 6. Exercise. Exercise is often thought of as a way to lose weight. Frankly, it's not that effective at doing so, especially cardio. I know, gasp. The most prominent weight loss driver is how you fuel your body weight regarding also food and liquids. You can't out-exercise a crappy diet. However, what exercise is showing more and more benefit in the research, no surprise to me, is improved brain health. Our brains have an essential nutrient, they must have to perform optimally. That nutrient is movement. Also referred to as exercise. Exercise can take many forms. Walking. Lifting weight weight. Sports. Pilates. Yoga. Running. Hiking. Riding your bike. Group exercise. Swimming. And so much more. Here is my best advice for you. Find something that you enjoy and do that. You can have the best weightlifting plan and strategy in the world. But if you hate going to the gym and lifting weights, you will have the power to do it for a few weeks. But eventually, something will come up, like needing to watch paint dry, and you will justify it in your mind's eye not to go to the gym and lift weights. Why? Because internally, you dislike it. So, do you mind picking that activity? The most effective form of exercise is the one that you do consistently over time. Consistency is key. Do you know what increases the odds and leads to doing something consistently? Something you enjoy doing. So, find that exercise, or those exercises, and do those. Improving your health is a marathon, not a sprint, no pun intended. Play the long game and find the movements you enjoy doing. Then do that or those. Your brain will get the movement, nutrients, it needs, and your body will get a flood of healthy hormones that will also improve your health. 7. Stress. There's all kinds of stress your body can undergo. The ones I am talking about here are mental, emotional, financial. Let's start with mental stress and mental health. Many don't realize it, but many mental health issues have underlying metabolic and mitochondrial dysfunction. Addressing this will do wonders for one's mental health. If you want a deep dive into this topic, I'd highly recommend Harvard researcher, professor, clinician Dr. Chris Palmer, MD's book Brain Energy. It's probably my favorite book in 2023, and I read a lot. Also, you should seek help if you struggle with a mental health issue. Sweeping issues under the rug or thinking they will go away is not the best tactic for your health. Emotional stress. I will cut to the chase on this topic and give you one of the best strategies I have found to be effective not only in my own life but in many patient counsel and counseling patients. Please write down three things you are thankful for each day. There have to be three new things each day. Nothing elaborate. It can be short. It should take you less than a minute to do. The key is to do it every day. This will begin to rewire your brain and change your emotional stress. Financial stress. I'm not the guru. But I know this can be a massive issue for people. My wife and I have taught Dave Ramsey classes before. However, if you need to get a hold of this area of your life, I would suggest something else. I suggest you get the book True Wealth Formula by Hans Johnson. It is a complete money system that works. There is a reason I gave it to each of my kids when they turned 13. You will always have money in your life. You will want to learn how to master it so it does not master you. This book will lead you step by step. Plus, check out his True Wealth Formula app, it's free. 8. Spiritual. We are mind, body, and spirit. If we only address our mind and body, we will not function in this world as fully as we can. I know what I believe. But I'm not going to tell you what to think. However, if this area needs to be improved, I encourage you to lean into it. Whether it is reading scriptures, meditating, listening to God, praying, talking to God, getting involved, or doing life, 
with a like-minded group of people, begin taking steps in this area of your life. When you do, I know you will see an increase in the following in your life. Fulfillment. Peace. Joy. Your one actionable step this week. Ideally, you would work on all eight of them at once. However, I know that is not practical for 99.99% .99 of people. So here's what I would encourage you to do. As you read through the eight items above, one probably stuck out and hit you harder, there's than the others. The one area you know you need to work on. That area will move the needle the most in your life and health. Starting today, I encourage you to lean into that area and work on improving it. Reminder. You only get one body to live this life in. Treat it well. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment on our channel for more empowering content. Have a great week.